Hey there, tech fans. Rick here again from the O-Ray team with an overview of the UHD-EX230-KVM1 HDMI extension kit with KVM functionality. This product was engineered to make it incredibly easy for you to share all of your media content from one location with a second remote location up to 230 feet away over a single Cat6 or Cat7 LAN cable. The product fully supports 4K media content and is both HDMI 2.0 as well as HDCP 2.2 compliant, which means it's plug and play compatible with a wide range of modern media gear. The transmitter module provides local loopback functionality, which allows you to enjoy the content at the primary location while you're simultaneously sharing it with the remote location. And the remote receiver features audio extraction capabilities that can digitally separate the audio component from the media being sent there and then allows you to pass that audio through an analog connection to a home stereo or a sound bar for that full theater experience. And finally, the kit provides KVM functionality, which allows you to connect the keyboard mouse up at the remote location so you can easily remotely control a computer at the primary location. Now, as part of this overview, I'd like to start with a quick unboxing just to show you everything that's included with the kit. And then I'll take a closer look at the transmitter and the receiver modules, and I'll explain the connections and indicators so you understand how to use them. I'll list the features and functions that this product provides, and then I'll come back and do a short demonstration to show you just how simple this product will be to use with your own equipment. So let's get started with the unboxing. When you first open up the box, you'll find a transmitter module and a receiver module. There are two 5 volt 1 amp DC power supplies included. You can plug this end into any standard wall outlet. The other end of the cable has a barrel connection on it, which plugs into the DC input port on either one of the modules and provides all the power you'll need for operation. You'll also find a USB-A to USB-A connection cable. If you decide to use the KVM functionality, you can use this to connect the transmitter to the computer at the primary side. And then finally, a full instruction manual is also included that lists connection diagrams, specifications, and a lot of other really good information about this kit that you'll need to understand in order to use it correctly. Now, if you stay tuned next, I'll take a closer look at both modules, I'll list the features and functions, and then I'll come back and do that demonstration. Inside the kit, you'll find a sender module and a receiver module. Both of these feature full metal enclosures, which make them really durable and a great choice for either residential or even commercial installations. Let's start with the sender module first. On either side of the cabinet, you'll find these ventilation slots that are really designed to let any heat that develops during operation escape, and it keeps the electronics inside at a very comfortable temperature. You'll also find mounting flanges on the modules that you can use to mount these up off the ground and out of the way. On the one end of the module, you'll find a DC input port on the left, and that's used with one of the power supplies. You'll simply plug that power supply into a wall outlet. The other end of the cable has a barrel connection on it, which plugs in right there, and you can finger tighten that collar. To the right of that are two full-sized HDMI ports labeled HDMI in and HDMI out. The HDMI in port connects to whatever media device you'd like to share the content from with your remote location. Always use a high quality cable for that connection. And this product provides local loopback functionality which allows you to enjoy the content at the primary site while you're simultaneously sharing it with your remote location. And if you'd like to take advantage of that feature, you can connect another cable to the HDMI out port to a local monitor to enjoy that content. On the other end of the module, you'll find a reset button on the left. You can hold that down for a few seconds to reset the module once power has been applied. To the right of that, you'll find a LAN port, and that's where one end of the CAT6 or CAT7 cable between the sender and receiver plugs in. To the right of that is a full-sized USB-A port. This system provides KVM functionality, and if you'd like to take advantage of that, you can use the cable that's included with the kit and plug one end in here and the other end into the computer's USB-A port. And to the right of that are two LEDs. The bottom one is a power LED. Once you add power to this module, it starts an internal power on self-test to check the electronics. Once it passes that, it'll light that bottom LED, letting you know the module's ready to use. The top LED indicates you've made a connection from this USB-A port to your computer. So under normal operation, both of these should be lit if you're using the KVM functionality. The receiver module is very similar. Again, metal enclosure, ventilation slots on both sides, mounting flanges. On the one end, you'll find another DC port here that's used with the second power supply. Again, just plug it into a wall outlet. Barrel connection plugs in there and you can finger tighten the collar. To the right of that, a full-sized HDMI port. You'll connect that to a local monitor at that secondary location that you'd like to use to enjoy the content. 
To the right of that is a left and right analog output port. The receiver provides audio extraction capabilities where it can digitally separate the audio from the media stream being sent there and then allows you to pass that audio through this port to a sound bar or home stereo to improve the quality of that audio. On the other side of the module, you'll find another reset button that can be used to reset this module. Simply hold it down for a few seconds to accomplish that. To the right of that is another LAN port, and that's where the other end of the CAT6 or CAT7 cable from the sender module plugs in. To the right of that are two more full-sized USB-A ports, and these are used for a keyboard and a mouse at the remote location if you'd like to take advantage of that KVM functionality. And then finally to the right of that is another power indicator, which will come on once the power on self-test completes. And above that is a KM indicator, letting you know you've made a solid connection to a keyboard and mouse at that remote location. That's pretty much it for the kit. The O-Ray UHD-EX230-KVM1 is compatible with most modern HDMI media sources, including game consoles, media players like Apple TV, streaming devices, digital projectors, and computer systems. The product's features include full support of 4K ultra-high definition media content. The product is an HDMI extender with full KVM functionality. It is both HDMI 2.0 as well as HDCP 2.2 compliant. It offers 230 feet of extension for the content between the primary and secondary locations and the receiver provides audio extraction capabilities. Now I'll show you just how easy it'll be to use this product with your own equipment. And for this demonstration, over here I've set up a mini PC that's currently being displayed on this monitor, and that's the media content I'd like to share with my remote location. Now this can be anything with an HDMI output, like a DVD player, a game console, or even a mini computer. Over here I've set up a second monitor, and this represents the remote location where I'd like to enjoy the content from that primary side. These can be up to 230 feet apart. In front of me, I have the transmitter module here and the receiver module here. Now the first set of connections I'll make are to the transmitter, and I'll start by disconnecting the media device from the monitor and plugging that HDMI connection into the HDMI input port on the transmitter. And now I can add power. I've already plugged in the power supply, the other end of that cable has a barrel connection on it which plugs directly into the DC input port on the transmitter and I'll tighten that collar. And now we're ready to connect the receiver up at the remote location. I have a second high speed HDMI cable connected to this monitor and I'll plug that into the HDMI output port on the receiver. And now I can add power there. I've plugged in the second power supply. Again, barrel connection directly into the DC input port. Now the minute I add power to these two modules, they immediately start that internal power on self-test where they're checking the electronics. This one is also checking the resolution of the media device, and this one is checking the resolution of the monitor so they can make whatever adjustments are needed to give you the best possible picture at that remote location. The only thing we're missing at this point is the CAT6 or CAT7 LAN connection between the two, and I have a short CAT6 cable right here that I'll use for that connection, and I'll plug it into the receiver and the other end of it into the transmitter. Now the minute I do that, they recognize that both of them are connected and they start negotiating for the best possible picture at that remote location. And there you go. So what you're viewing here is HDMI media content from the primary site, again up to 230 feet away, that's been converted into a signal that can be sent over the LAN cable and then converted back into an HDMI signal for display in this monitor. Now another really nice feature this product provides is the KVM functionality. Right now, I've got a wireless mouse plugged into the computer, and you can see I can move that mouse around. I can take control of that computer from the remote location by simply connecting the transmitter to the computer using the included cable. It's a USB-A to USB-A, so I'll plug one end of that into the USB-A connection right here, and the other end of it into any open USB-A port on the computer. And then I'll move the dongle to the remote side. There are two USB-A connections over here, I'll plug it into one of those, and once I make this connection at the remote side, the computer now recognizes not only that there's a receiver for the video, but that there's actually bi-directional connection for the mouse. And you'll see I can still move that mouse around. So you can remotely control a computer from that second location that's at the primary location. It's going to send the video to that remote location, and you can send keyboard and mouse signals back to the primary location. And it really is just that easy to get it working. 
I hope you found this overview of the O-Ray UHD-EX230-KVM1 helpful. This product provides an incredibly easy way for you to share all of your media content from one location with a second remote location up to 230 feet away over a single Cat6 or Cat7 LAN cable. The product fully supports 4K media content and is both HDMI 2.0 as well as HDCP 2.2 compliant, which means it's plug and play compatible with all of your modern media equipment. The transmitter module provides local loopback functionality, which allows you to continue to enjoy the content at the primary side while you're simultaneously sharing it with the remote location. And the remote receiver features audio extraction capabilities where it can digitally separate the audio component from the media being displayed, and that allows you to pass that audio through an analog connection to a home stereo or a soundbar for that full theater experience. And finally, the kit provides KVM functionality, which means you can connect the keyboard and mouse up at the remote location, so you can quickly remotely control the computer at the primary location. Everything you need to get started is included with the kit, and with a few simple connections, you can be up and running in no time. So until next time, thanks again for watching.